Hey everyone, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial. You know what? You don't need to follow the same person on different social media accounts. Many people are following me on Instagram. And I don't even know how that thing works. Anyway, today, we are going to create this. What we do here is go back, 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 back. This video is sponsored by Video Blocks. Video Blocks has one of the fastest growing, largest stock video library. With over 3 million videos, after effects, and motion backgrounds. This includes the only contributor marketplace, that gives 100% of the commission back to the artists. All of these clips come with a royalty free agreement, so you cannot get hit with copyright claims. Video Blocks is giving away 7 days of access, so you can try it out, and get access to this massive video library, and royalty free license for free. Go to the videoblocks.com slash avnishparker, underscore 0917, or click the link in the description box below, to start downloading, and get 7 days of Video Blocks for free. So let's get started. Open After Effects and create a new composition. As always, I am using the 1920x1080 resolution. But this time, I am making it 60 frames per second. Because, roses are red, violets are blue, the world's changing boys, it's time we change too. I am making it 2 minutes longer, because my music length is 2 minutes. If you have 10 minutes long song, Make the composition duration to 10 minutes. Perfect. Let's create a new solid for the background. You can make it in any color you want, and then hit OK. Now go to the effects and the presets, and search for the CC Particle Systems second effect. This is an inbuilt plugin inside After Effects, you don't need to download it from anywhere. Apply it on the background layer and adjust a few settings. But before, go to the few frames forward, so that you can see the particles. Now open physics, and change the velocity to 0.5. Also change gravity to 0. Now open particles, and change particle type to try polygons. Cool. Change birth size to 0.1 and also make the death size to 0.1. You can change the particles color from here, but I prefer to change it later. Again go to the effects and the presets, and search for the find edges effect. Apply it on the same layer, and make sure to click on this invert checkbox. Now you will have these nice looking particles edges. Cool. You can make it any color you want. But for now, I am making it white, so it won't distract my eyes. Make sure to change both colors to white, else some particles will be yellow. Cool. This looks good to me. Let's move to the next step. Make sure to unselect your layers, go to the tools, and select this shape tool. Click and hold for more options, and select this polygon tool. Please note, my fill is set to none. And my stroke is set to a solid color. Because I am going to use the stroke only. You can change the stroke color by clicking here. Now press and hold Ctrl plus Shift, to make a perfect polygon. You can make it any size you want. Because this is a shape layer. So you can increase the size to anything you want. Now open this Polystar 1, and then expand the Polystar Path 1. Here you will find this points. 
If you change the point's value, you can change its shape. Now select this shape layer, and press Alt, Control, Home, to align anchor point to the center. And now align this shape to the center. Cool. Now import your song file into the project. And place it on the timeline. If you press L two times, you can see the waveform of this audio. We are going to use these waveforms, so that our shape will react to this. But we have to convert them to the keyframes first. Right click on the audio layer, go to keyframe assistant, and select, convert audio to keyframes. It will create a new layer, with the waveform keyframes on it. If you press U, you can actually see it. Now we are going to parent the animation to these keyframes. Select your shape layer, and expand it. Here you will see this add option. Click on this arrow, and select zigzag. Open this zigzag, and change the rides per segment to zero. And also change the size to zero. We are going to parent it with audio keyframes layer. Press and hold the Alt key, and then click on this stopwatch icon. Grab this Pickwick, and drop it on the both channel slider. Please note, you have to open the keyframes first to link it. Press U, and the keyframes will be open. Now if you check the animation, you will see it is reacting with the audio. In my case, it is not changing the size as I want. So let's edit the script. Click here, and at the end, type star, 4. It means I am increasing the shake 4 times more. Play this, and you will see the difference. Let's change it by 2. Because it was looking too much. Perfect. Let's add another property to it. Click on this add once again, and select twist this time. Open this twist, and if you change the angle value, you can see it look like this. Again Alt click on this stopwatch icon, and parent this Pickwick to the both channel slider. Perfect. Let's edit this script, so that it will react with the music 5 times more. I am adding star 5, at the end of the script. You are free to choose your own number. Ramp preview this, and now my animation looks like this, please note, you won't be able to hear the music, until you ramp preview it. Cool, this looks good to me. But the size is too large. Select your shape layer, and press S to open scale, and adjust the scale value according to your need. Also, I am changing the stroke width to 10, so it won't be too thick. One thing, I don't want the particles to appear inside this shape, so let's adjust it. Make a duplicate of the shape layer, make sure to select the bottom layer, and change its fill to a solid color. Now I am going to mask out the particle layer from it. If you don't see your track mat tab here, press F4 to switch between. In case your F4 key is set on the fire, right click here, go to columns, and select modes. It will open up this tab. Now select the background layer, and change the track mat to alpha inverted mat. Ram preview this, and your audio reactor will look like this. What we do here. In case you want the different design for this shape, you can always change the poly star path points to a different number. Either keep it a higher number, or a lower number. Let's say I am going with the 20 points now. So you have to change the points value to the 20. 
for all shapes inside it. You are free to experiment this with your own ideas. You don't have to follow the exact settings. Because I am just showing you the way, the destiny is yours. Perfect let's minimize all the layer, to get some room here. Also, I am renaming the layers as well, so that our project will be organized, and we can find the things easily. Now moving to the next step. Go to effects and presets, and search for the, 4 color gradient effect. Apply it on the shape layer, and let's adjust it. Select these anchor points here, and place them closer to the shape layer. Do the same with all other points, and now you have the gradient color in your shape. Now let's change the color of it. I am going to change last three colors to dark blue color, and the top color will be a purple color. Perfect. Now select the background layer, and change the particle color to the same color shades as well. Cool. This looks good to me. Now select the audio react layer, and hide this layer mask by clicking here, so that we can see our shape clearly. Now go to the effects and presets, and search for the curves. Apply it on the layer, and then increase the curve value to something like this. It will make the shape color pop out more. Perfect. Let's make another copy of this shape layer. Again go to the effects and presets, and this time search for the fast blur effect. Apply it on the layer, and then change blur dimension to horizontal. Now increase the blur amount to 100%. And it will look like this. Let's add optical flare to it. You can download it from the link in the description. Place it on the top, and adjust the position where you want. I want it to be visible from here. Cool. Now change the blending mode to screen. And then press T, to open opacity. Select the audio amplitude layer, and press U to open keyframes, now in the flare layer. Alt click on the stopwatch icons, and then parent it to the both channel slider. This flare will also start to react with the audio as well. But it doesn't look bright now. So let's add start 2, at the end of this script. Cool. Ram preview it, and the animation will look like this. What we do here is go back, 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 back. Now the final step. Let's add a rotation to these shapes. Press R to open rotation, Alt click on it, and type time, star, 60. Do the same with all another shape layer. So now, our audio reactor is complete. I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching this tutorial, have a good day.